Hello, um, welcome to Dee Dee's Dolly Den. <clears throat> I'm Denise, but I wanted to show you something before we get started. I'm going to dress little Lola today. My tiny little Kimby doll. She's Caitlin from the Kimby line of dolls. I absolutely love my little preemie. She's the only little preemie I have. And she's very hard to find clothes for. So, but this is my Lola. But before we get started... You know, I diamond paint in my spare time. It's something I love to do. But I made this and it's going to be hung up in the nursery. Thomas the Train. Yes, none of my nursery pictures are going to match. I'm an eclectic person. I just put in here what I like. And I am working on a Donald Duck one right now. And I have a Minnie and a Mickey that I'm trying to get done. But I just love this one. And I sealed it, and then I glued it down to this piece of this flat canvas. And I'll just use the um, little stickers that you put on the back to stick it to the wall. But there it is. Isn't that cute? Yes, I made that. I love to diamond paint. It's very relaxing. So let's get started. And if I have enough time, I have a second baby I want to change. If not, we'll just do Lola. Okay, here we go. Little Miss Lola, and I don't know why it's so dark. Hold on a minute. What happened to my lighting? I have got to get a ring light, y'all. This is not working for me. It's just too, too darn dark. I don't know why it's so dark. But here we go with Lola. Oh, there we go. Now it's lighting it up. Now, her outfit today is, a, is actually one I bought from, from Kimby. And this is what we're going to put on. <clears throat> I'm glad I did buy them because, like I said, we're very short on clothes. But there it is. It's got a little owl. Maybe if I get a little closer. There we go. Well, that, that's a little bit better. Okay. Here's the little pants. The little headband and look at these tiny bitty socks I mean they are very very tiny we'll be putting those on her sorry I gotta take a swig of coffee guys because oh, I didn't get much sleep last night sorry my <clears throat> son was having some issues so I was up and down with him last night so I didn't get sleep till about almost four o'clock this morning which made me end up oversleeping. And so, yeah, it's been one of them days. I haven't gotten anything done yet today. So when I get done dressing the babies, I've got to get started on some housework. And I got my fall decorations all over. I got to finish getting those out. So, yeah, that's my life right now. But baby Lola is a very, very sweet. I love her. She was already weighed when I got her. And for a preemie, that's a perfect weight because she weighs about two pounds. So I'm very happy with her little weight. The smile just cracks me up. I know I haven't shown her for a while, so that's why I decided to do her today. Um, because I don't really display her on here a lot. And it's not because I don't want to. I've got so many babies that, you know, I'm very attached to all of them. But... I don't know. I just, I don't have very many outfits, so I don't really show her a lot. Um, she's not got very many clothes. But we're going to put this cute little outfit on. I haven't put this on her. Uh, I think I put it on once since I've had her. So we're going to put this on. And last night, I um, took Melissa apart and... I reweighted her because she was just too heavy, so I had to take out some weight. And then I put her head back on, and for a few days I noticed that she was funny looking, and I was like, okay, wait a minute. I forgot to put stuffing back in when I took the weight out. So I took her apart last night, <clears throat> and I put a little tiny bit of weight in her top half because I put all the weight was in her bottom, which she was already weighted when I bought her too, but 
I wanted a little bit more and I just couldn't get it correct. Well, last night I took her apart. <clears throat> I put some poly beads in her chest and um, I didn't use glass beads. I'm not a fan of the glass beads. I like the poly beads better. So I did that and she's now perfect. I stuffed her the way I liked her. And yeah, she's much better for me to handle. So, um, Miss Lola here with being already weighted is perfect. I haven't had to do anything with her. She's just beautiful. Okay, she's got tiny hands, but ooh, these are tiny to get on. What in the world? I'm going to have a hard time getting them over her little fingers. She's very cute, y'all. She's so cute. She, um, I wanted to also pick this because, <clears throat> sorry, her pacifier attaches to it, which also helps. So I don't have to, you know, worry about getting another passy clip because she's already came, she came with, she came with, well, she didn't come with the pacifier. I bought the pacifier, but, um, it came with a clip of its own. And I do like it because, you know, I can attach it to any of her Kimby outfits that I've purchased. Which actually isn't very many, but I like this one. Um, I did go on Amazon and buy her a couple, like, doll outfits. And they actually are built like clothing, so we use those. She actually had one on yesterday, or the day before yesterday. I didn't dress her yesterday. I kept her in her little dinosaur um, pajamas that I bought at Walmart for her. I've only found two preemie, uh, pajamas there. So our Walmart in preemie clothes are not good. We just, I went out there yesterday and was looking and could not find any preemie, nothing at all. So, um, yeah, I was going to pick her up a, you know, a sleeper, or something because her drawer is so empty she doesn't have much and newborns are way too big on her because we've tried it preemies is what fits her the best finally got that on that was the struggle She is so cute. Oh, her smile, it just melts me. I did leave the onesie on that she had on underneath because it makes things easier. Now for these, move her up a minute, these tiny little socks. She is so cute. I bought her from Kimby when she was on a sale. And they were down to like $49.00. Somewhere around there, $49, $50, and I bought her. And they had four to choose from. But I loved her smile, and that's why I got hers, because she that smile just melts me. But she's so cute. So, yeah, she is a Kimby doll. And I love her. And to me, she's like a real baby. But, um, tiny little real baby. They did so good in the realism of her. Her painting is awesome. She's got every little wrinkle a new baby would have. She's just perfect. There we go. See, it attaches up here. Which makes dressing her much, much easier. And it says Kimby on it. I'm glad I did buy these little outfits. And someone's coming in my door. And I got a feeling this is my son. Okay, he's not coming in. He's just messing with the door handle. He comes in and visits me sometimes when I'm in here. It's not locked, baby. There she is, guys. And we'll just put the binky right here. Isn't she cute? Okay, now let me grab Melissa. Don't look at this mess back here, guys. I'm going through winter clothes, putting them away. Yeah, it's better than it was. And then I got all my stuff last night where I took Melissa apart to clean up today. 
But we're going to change baby. We're going to move this baby. Melissa. I have not shown Melissa for a little while. Here. Say hi. Okay. Let me get her outfit. I laid all their clothes out last night. So all I had to do is grab. So today we're going to put on these little pants. They have bows on the bottoms, on the pockets on the back, and they have flowers. I got these at the um, our local thrift store. And this here, <clears throat> excuse me, I found at the Goodwill, and I thought, oh my gosh, that is just so pretty. So we will be putting this on her. Um, now, Melissa is a Paradise Galleries doll. She was actually a boy, and she's the one that's um, all the ladies love me doll. But when I got her, him at the time, I decided that I wanted a little girl and that she was going to be a girl. Best thing I could have did. So I named her Melissa because it means honeybee and joy because she brought me so much joy. She is very spoiled. This baby I do hold a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And after I fixed her last night, I'm going to leave her socks on for the day too, guys. She's got purple socks. They don't really match the outfit, but we're going to leave it be. <clears throat> anyway, I fell in love with her face, but I went in there again on a sale. And they had her on sale for $35.99. I thought, uh, for a Paradise Gallery doll, that's a good sell. Excuse me. So I bought her, and I got her for $35.99. And when I was looking at all the dolls that they had on sale, I kept going back to this one before I purchased. And I said, yep, because I kept going back. I knew this was the baby for me. So I then ordered her. Now, mind you, at the time, I only had Nicholas when I ordered her. So when I got her, she was it. She was spoiled because she was it. I didn't have Anastasia yet. I didn't have any of those yet. So I held her a lot and I still hold her a lot because she is one of my favorite top babies. And, um, it's her and Vanessa usually is who I hold and I spend a lot of time with them. But here lately, I haven't even really held Vanessa. I mean, well, I held last night, but, but this one here has become my top, top baby. I went to a birthday party yesterday and I did take Christopher with me because, you know, he's a boy and it was a boy party. So I grabbed him, took him. We had a nice time. We had the party at a park. So I got to put him in a swing, but I forgot to get pictures. So I was mad at myself for not getting pictures. And then when I got home, I brought him back to the room and I, I scooped up Anastasia for a while and held her and I held Aubrey yesterday and then held Melissa. I held Emma. So I pretty well held them all yesterday. I was just all about baby mode yesterday. All day long, I had a baby in my arms. And um, very enjoyed it. So yesterday, I did not make a video. I stayed here, you know, other than the birthday party. I was home all day. The birthday party was just across town. So, you know, it wasn't too far. And it was a beautiful day to be at the park because the weather was gorgeous and there was a beautiful breeze. So it was very enjoyable. I told my son, I said, we should have gotten hot dogs and stuff and, you know, barbecued. And my Landon, you know, he loves to swing and he had a ball swinging. We're going to do some with her hair here, guys. It's kind of a mess. Um... So yeah, we had a you know a nice outing yesterday trying to find her a, a a headband. Here we go. We got a pink one right here. So light, light pink with a rose on it. I've got to get busy and make them some that fit them. Because I have a lot of bigger ones that fit my toddlers, not the babies. So I need to make some. And I want to make some bows for the, you know, the big baby, um, my big baby Anastasia. But yeah, she was my second purchase, this one here. 
And I didn't know much about Reborn dolls. I just knew I liked dolls. It really wasn't about Reborns. It was, I like dolls. I was getting back into them. And Nicholas got me started. But this one here really got me going. She was perfect and always for me. I did have this mate, or it, I bought this on Etsy. It has her name on it. It says Melissa. Now I know how to make them myself. Um, so I can do, I just got to find these. These are hard to find. But I like to get some and make them myself. Because I've got babies that need, need some with names on them. Because I like putting their names on them. And there she goes. I put it on upside down, guys. There is my beautiful, beautiful little Melissa. Let's bring this up just a bit so they can see how pretty you truly are. Isn't she beautiful? She's gorgeous and she is, like I said, one of my two or top favorites. I had her in my bed with me last night for a long, long time. And then I threw her, I put her, did throw her, I put her in the cradle for the night. But this is my baby and my husband doesn't mind if I take them out and stuff. He doesn't have a problem. My kids do, but my husband doesn't care. He actually held Christopher in the car for me, so he was cool with it. But, but yes, because, you know, I don't do the car seat. I don't have room for a car seat. And um, we just set him in my husband's lap and went about our way. I figured if we got pulled over, we could show them that he was a doll. Isn't she cute, guys? I just, I love her. I love her. Okay, well, that's it for my video today. I hope you all have a very blessed day. Uh, live life to the fullest because tomorrow's never promised. Bye.